Good morning. Um, there's something else this morning I want to show you. We're going to modify a welding helmet. Uh, this morning when I wanted to um, weld, I found out like the welding hel helmet doesn't darken automatically. So I'm going to open it and show you. Uh, I think there's a battery inside there. The battery is flat. We're going to make a modification to make it work again. Let's go. All right. As you, as you can see inside here, yeah, is this unit here. We have to remove this. Um, there's a little wire and a, and, a, and a pot here to adjust the, I think it's just to adjust the sensitivity of the thing. We have to remove the inside here and see what's going on there. Turn it off. The screw loose. There's also a sensitivity here. Let's just take this off. So there, and then you have to take the pliers and undo here. This little screw here. You actually need a shift in here. Okay, there it is off. Now we sit with this thing. Okay, let's open it, see what's going on here. See, okay, this is how it works here. This is like a lens, it's like a liquid crystal. And then there's like, it's like a solar panel. It's a little small solar panel. If the, it strikes, uh, it creates a voltage on the um, liquid crystal panel and then it closes and it darkens it automatically. Now I just have to open this thing. Get this there. Open here. Right, you can see it's open now. I opened the thing, I clipped it open. And you can see the inside electronics here. There's a, a 3 volt button cell. Um, and there's another one, but I don't know what is the reason for two batteries, but I reckon I'm going to change this one, and this one is flat. You just say take your multimeter, and I measure the voltage. Yeah, measuring, it gives us like 2 volt instead of 3 volts. So obviously, this battery is, is a bit bad. Now I switch the multimeter off. I'm going to change uh, this battery, so resolder, put some wires on and put a uh, outside two 1.5 volt triple A's inside the helmet and glue it in there. As it, this is act like an old holder of a Christmas light. It has a switch also on. You can switch this off and on and glue it in there. Then I can just switch this on and use it. All right. Now we go and remove this unit and remember if you solder always solder put some solder on before you remove something then there's more surface area and it works better let's put my light here that I can see better yeah just remember there's a positive this is a negative Right. I think there's some glue here. I think they put some double side tape on here. That's it. Let's remove it. always make a mark. I always take a small sharp thing and I always scratch a positive on the PCB. Then you know you can't go wrong. And then you can't even, if you forget which what's the polarity. Okay, here's the, the faulty button cell. I'm going to take it out. Alright, now let's quickly skin this wires. Always remember to skin it as close, as short as possible. Don't 
leave the strands too long okay now you you turn the wire you turn that wire okay now we put the positive in there and this was two wires on here Right now we're gonna route this wires through here. The same position as what the other ones go through. And then we just clean it and we're gonna close it up again. Now you take this unit and you plug put it back in again. You clip it, close it. You can always make this hole a little bit bigger the entry hole okay now we put back this little thing here since i think there's also a sensitivity setting i don't know why there's two sensitivity settings all right now we're going to put this one back in the helmet I'm going to put this in here since it goes through there and then I can absorb put this unit I have to find a place for this battery cell I'm going to put it underneath here and make sure it doesn't bother you when you put it on your head it doesn't or you can put it on top maybe there's a better position on top Put it in the top here okay i'm gonna just glue it in here then just make sure the wires is long enough to get to this unit here that's it okay as you can see i soldered the wires on here just make sure about your polarity the spring part is normally the negative and that plug part is the positive and now we can put some two batteries in there Get some batteries, put a whole bag of batteries. Get it out very quickly. Okay, now you put this in here. There. There. Okay, let's just measure with a multimeter. Make sure we put it on. Make sure negative, positive, 3.2 volts. That's it. It's going to work nicely. Put it on, and then we put this back. Make this fit in here. Screw this in here. And this there. So this battery is will last for a long time, I think. Okay, now let's put it back. Let's clean up here. Let's put it here. Put it on the top there. And we fasten this one here. Fasten it here properly. This back, make sure it's there. So let's see what is the minimum and the maximum is 12, and then we put a 13. 
Maybe 15, and you can go back. Okay, that's it. And now we just put this little frame back inside here. I think I must actually turn this around. This is the wrong way around. Put it in there, put the wires out of the way, and put the screw in here. Another screw. Okay, now we're going to glue this little battery pack. I'm going to put some glue here, hot melt glue, and I'm going to stick it in there. Let's put it like this. Um, here's my, my glue gun. Here's my glue gun. Um, just make sure you don't burn yourself. And just put some glue in there. thing in there you can always more put a little bit extra you just make sure you can see extra glue there okay. there is something in the bottom It says as long as you don't hit, hit your head or something inside. Okay, now we can test it. Now I've got a, I've got a lighter here. And if you go, if you go see through here, if you pick it, and then it immediately, you actually need a flash, a lighter with a, with a, with a flint. And it was perfect. You can see so many cook, then it, it shop. Okay. Uh, there you have your welding helmet now fixed with a, a, a battery pack inside here. Uh, we, we actually bypass, put it in the place of the button cell. Uh, this button cell here, we replace this button cell that's, that's flat. Uh, now it has been run by two AAA batteries, three, 3 volt. We can switch it on and off. And that's it. They show welding helmet like ready for another two years. Thank you and cheers and goodbye.